Hey guys, and welcome to Blender Agenda's fourth video tutorial for Blender. This one will be teaching you how to do backgrounds in Blender and changing the scene. So open up Blender and you'll have your default cube to start off with. And you see this thing here? This is the camera, for if you didn't know. And you can hit G to move it around, place it where you want. This means that when you hit F12, you'll see what the camera sees. And if you change your view into camera view, and then hit G to grab or R to rotate, and it makes it a lot easier because you can see what the camera's seeing and set up your scene perfectly for your rendered image. So move your camera around using R and G until you find a spot that you like. While you're in this mode, you can also move objects around. Um, once you have it where you like, then go down to the little circle on the panels chart, and then onto you'll see an Earth. Click onto that, and that is the scene and world around you. If you click on Blend, it'll make it look realistic, and if you click on Real, it'll give a horizon, so you can have a horizon, and just mess around with the colours, see some colours that you like. So I'm going to have a white here, I think. Until, yeah, I like that. I can have that as a sky. Now go onto the Materials tab, Add New. And up on the chart, you'll see Clouds. Click on that. And there you see the preview of what your clouds will look like. Now from here, with all these little sliders, you can change the values. So your clouds, you could have them closer together, darker, clearer, really just anything that you like. And also, bear in mind, on the world tab, you can make it dark and there's a start setting that you'll find. So, And you can change the density, size and everything of those. So, yeah, you can have stars as well. Now just mess around with the settings until you find something that you like. So, I'll have them like that. Maybe a bit more. And if you change the colour there, it'll make the clouds colourful. Don't know why you want to do that, but don't ask me. So there we go. Then once you've got your clouds how you like, go back to the world scene, and you'll see in the preview, voila, there is the clouds. Now if you hit F12 to render your image, or go into object mode first of all, and this thing here, this is a lamp. This is where the lighting comes. And if you hit space, add lamp, you can add lamps, suns, etc. They all are the same thing really, just different brightnesses, sizes, types of colour. And then hit F12 to render your image. And you'll see your image with a sky background. There we go, that's the first part. Now, some of you might want an image in the background. So for that, just go to the front view or side view or whatever. And you'll see background image. Click onto that. Use background image. Load. Look for an image. I apologise about the poor quality. I promise the next videos will have better quality than this. Looks like you're reading in Chinese. There you go. Pick an image you want. And it should appear, but my computer doesn't want to cooperate with me today. Uh, let me just try that once more, I think. On the top. Here we go. Background image. Let's find one. Load. To my desktop. Pictures. No, that's the wrong one. Uh, come on. Bear in mind, you can do this to all different formats: JPEG, bitmap, loads, all the different types. Really, it's not really picky, and it doesn't want to work again. Oh, well, I apologise for this. It should work on your computer. And one more thing: if you click on your object, your default cube as it is. And then go on to the Materials tab and go on to Image. Then let me pick a picture again. Sorry about all this travelling through Windows. I know, annoying. 
we go. I'll try and do it really quickly. Uh, which one shall I have? Let's have that for now. The gangster chimp. Select image. And now, if you hit, go on to view. Oh, there, down there you've seen your preview. You see the picture that will be onto it. And now if you hit F12 to render this image, the monkey is there on the top. Let me just move the camera a bit so you can see that a bit clearer. If I just grab the camera, move it up a little bit. There you go, facing the top of the cube like so. Hit F12 and there is your rendered image with the chimp on the top of the cube. So that pretty much concludes this tutorial for now. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to the Blender Agenda. Thanks guys.